here on the campuses of Laramie County Community College in beautiful Cheyenne, Wyoming, bringing you the big daddy of them all, the best of the best in a sport that is certainly growing in leaps and bounds. Hi, I'm Bob Griffin, welcoming you along with Scott Lumley. Scott, tell us a bit of the action we're going to be watching here throughout the week. There's a little over a thousand teams riding for a quarter million dollars. There's several classes of pro-am, pro, and amateur and novice class, as well as youth classes. We're going to see a lot of exciting team pinning. Scott, just a brief rundown of what happens during a run, if you would. Well, you have three riders on a team. You have 30 head of cattle on the far end of the arena, numbered in threes, zero through nine, three of each cattle. You have an imaginary line in the center of the pen. You cross that imaginary line, the announcer calls out whatever your designated number might be, and it's just a random draw, say five. You ride down working with your three partners. You cut those three head of cattle out, the three partners working together, bring them to this end of the pen and put them in that small 16 by 16 pin as fast as they can. There's three go-arounds. We're going to see the first go-around, second go-around, and then they're all riding to ride at the Big Cheyenne Frontier Days Park on Sunday. A 60-second time limit on the sport, but, Scott, we're going to see times a whole lot faster than that. Yeah, you're going to see times anywhere between 18 seconds and 35 seconds each go around. If you're not a, if you're not a 69 or 71 in that area on an average six head of cattle, you're not going to make the short go as I am. Well, Scott, it sounds like a lot of action, and we're proud to be a part of it. We're looking forward to a lot of fun here. Of course, as we told you a moment ago, the trials here on the floor of the Laramie County Community College, and we'll move the finals, the top ten, the cream of the crop, the best of the best. We'll move them over Sunday morning at 10 a.m. to the Cheyenne Frontier Days Rodeo. Don't go away. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Cheyenne, Wyoming. We're here on the campuses of Laramie County Community College bringing you the first annual Big Daddy of Them All, Team Pinning Spectacular here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We're looking forward to a great afternoon here with you. Scott, you've got on this team two of the top 10 ranked teams in the national ranking system riding with a pretty good cowboy out of Texas. Mozon is a fantastic, this, this boy right here has won more ranch gilding competitions than I can ever count. These boys right here are four times. Look at this, look at this, look at this right here. Three cow cut on the left side. Look at Joe take that trash down the hole. Now they, they in business now. This is going to be fast. These two boys right here have won four, four straight AJQHA World Championships. And 27.56 turned in. Only half of these teams are going to be eligible to come to round two. So you got to feel pretty good just to qualify, three, come three, back and get another shot. Three. Consistency is the name of this game. Consistently going out there and putting them 40-second runs together. You can do something in the finals. The whole objective is this consistent, consistent, fast. Well, of course, those getting it done in the average, they're going to take some money home. And as we head for the pin, we've got all of them sorted out here. Time. This team right here won the Fort Worth Livestock Show this year and also won the Denver Livestock Show this year. You know that when these guys ride in, anything can happen. Jody Hill, Larry Pankos, they set two and three in the world in the national ranking systems. Donnie Wynn, number 17. Yeah, Happen to know Donnie from back in our great state of three, Oklahoma, three, Newcastle, three, Oklahoma. Three. And these guys apparently know their number being 10th in the set. Jody has got, I can tell the way he's moving this, he's got all three of them over there. He just made a three cal cut out of this deal right here. Look at this, three of them out, out in 15 seconds. And they're seconds. on their way to pin in 17. In the pin, oh, cow turn left. That's okay, they still got it under control. They still got it under control. Still managed to 25. What about that one? That cow that turned back probably cost them four or five seconds. 25, 34 turned in. And we'll be back right after this cattle change with the open team pinning competition. Welcome back. Let's go right down to more action. This is Sue Flynn. She teams up with Lee Myers and Frank Young. Frank, Frank Young being from Utah. Sue Ben from Missoula, okay. Montana. Five, five, five. Well, they go for number five. 
sneaking into the herd and pinning one back. He saw him early, didn't he, Scott? Yeah, he did. Got a little uh -oh. trash here, but this is going to be pretty easy cleaned up. These cows are going to separate pretty easy, and they're going to be in good shape. And Frank's already on the third cow down here. Now, he's already got third cow. Now, well, Sue's going to keep work. pushing, and then she's going to turn around, and they're going to head to the pen. Out he, in 24 seconds. You see how the team likes to come up that pen together? Oh, yeah. You know, this, this is a team for Right on the warning buzzer, as a matter of fact, 31-27 turned in. For those of you just joining us, this is the sport of team pinning. A sport that's got three riders that ride together as a team, crossing an imaginary line, riding into a herd, cutting three head of cattle out. It's been pre-designated when they cross that line by announcer. The objective here is for them to go to that end, get their three numbers, and put them in the pen down here as fast as they can. We are working on number nine. We've got two of them out, and the third one is on the way. This one is looking good as well. Look at them make the sweep right here. Folks, if this works, we could see a lead change. We've got the 30-second warning and a time. 32-73 turned in, 32-73. After 12 hours of competition and 180 exciting runs, Tom Bross, John May, and Steve Robert top our leaderboard as we head into our second go-around. Nice to get two step out on the end like that right there. And these boys already got a chance to be real quick. Jamie's gonna ride that trash off that backside. Oh, slipped by him, but it's okay, he ain't hurt none. Now watch him push his cow around and wrap that seven back to the hurt to the other end of the pen. Damon, that was a nice move. Damon was all by himself on that wing. He done a wonderful job of containing those cattle by himself. 34, 79, 62, 35 combined time. What I'm gonna try to do here is just be as, be as consistent as possible. They're not gonna take any massive chances, but at the same time, they're gonna take what's given to them. If they see an opportunity, they're gonna take advantage of it. Just go pin smooth, go pin pretty. Three cuts and go to the pin, just like okay, that right there. It's a nice One, cut. One, two, three. And here he comes with the third cow. There. Works just right. Out in 22 seconds. Now this team, again, I mentioned this earlier, this team won the Denver Livestock Show and won the Fort Worth Livestock Show. They are as consistent as you can ask for. 31-68. Five. Well, the number five is called, and it looks like we got one right out of there in a hurry. Jody Hill rides in out of Colorado. Larry Pancock out of Texas. Donnie Wynn out of Oklahoma. Jody's on him. That means if, there's, if he's going to come, Jody will bring him. I'll promise you that. They've got him heading this way. We're still under 30 seconds. There's the warning. And pinned. Time. 33, 31. Sue Flynn, Lee Myers, Frank Young, after the one. Frank's actually got two, two ones here together. They can hold them together. No, but he left the other one laying there for his partner to pick up pretty easy. This cow right here is leaning on him. Leaning on it pretty heavy. This cow sure don't want to come out. I mean, this could be quick. Frank's trying to wrap around his cow as quick as he can to keep the, keep the momentum of this cow moving forward. Time, 34.50. 34.50, the time turned in here. And 65.77. They'll move into second place in round two. We'll have the cattle change and be back with more of the second go round. The second go round. Here's a team looking to change that. They had the threes. 
Out in the open, either side. Look at this, getting it done. Move them, pin them. Getting it done, how about it? 2806. 2806-6079 to move into the lead in the second go round. Blazing fast times here in our second go around. Steve Freyheit, Gary Jordan, and Sherry Oliver top our leaderboard as we head into our finals. We have for you the shootout. It's the best of the best. Dave Frazier with Jody Fisher. Bob Dunn across the way. Jody making her home in Alberta, Canada as well. So the Canadians teaming up. Riding in and look at this. You talk about a good draw here if this all pans together. Now here yesterday we saw this. Those first two numbers coming out in a hurry. The third one not quite so fast and it looks like that's the pattern here today. However this team our 17th team to ride here in the first go round makes the sweep and they're headed to the pin in the time of 33-24. 33-24 that's going to have them set mighty pretty. Folks, here's a good team out of Oklahoma. Jared Lesh, Donnie Wynn, and David Hall. Jared Lesh, the cowboy, currently ranked number one in the world. The young man right here, taking a look at him now. Donnie Wynn, 17th in the world, and David Hall, fifth in the world. Donnie Wynn on the yellow horse, David Hall in the middle. You won't find a more competitive team pinner than David Hall. I'm here to tell you he is not satisfied with second place. He, we have a lot of fun with him. He will go for it when the money is on the line. Your money needs to be on David Hall. He's teamed up with Donnie Wynn and Jared Lash. We've already talked about Jared, number one in the world. Donnie Wynn, perhaps one of the best at turning back. One of the grand gentlemen, team pending competition, getting it done. How about 2668? And there is your new leader. 2668 turned in. A lot of strategy goes in the line right here. You see the Cowboys discussing. Roger Lorenzi, Rick Smith. Bob Lover, also. High in the standings. Cowboys moving in. Already got one out in good shape. The number two is what they're looking for, as you can tell. A couple of them out already. They've got the first two out in the 22nd range. So it's looking mighty good here as the third one pops out. If we can just hold them together, don't override on the wing, slam dunk them, pin them. We got a good run going here. We've got them in the gate and the flag drops, the time stops at 35.92. Greg Nash, Mark Scroggs, and Gary Fletcher ride in. Gary Fletcher out of Clarendon, Texas. Mark Scroggs, Greg Nash teaming up. Mark Scroggs, Demet, Texas, Cowboy. Greg Nash out of Melrose, New Mexico. So a lot of states represented here at the big daddy of them all, Cheyenne, Wyoming. What an incentive it is. We haven't talked about this much. We've been watching the action. These contestants in our pinning here this weekend. Look at this. A new leader with a 2694 turned in. Greg Nash, Mark Scroggs, and Gary Fletcher. Matt Hill, LJ Pankos, and Mozon McKibben. Here's a cowboy, possibly one of the best hands with the horses that you'd ever want to see. He's definitely a great hand and a cowboy, and you're always going to be proud to have him on your pen. Matt Hill, LJ Pankos. Teaming up. Look at this. They each go get one. Wow! If we can hold that fourth one, we've got him out of there. We've got to go get him, though. Boy, you talk about gambling, and they went for it. 
We're on the way to the pin in 20 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. The sweep across the way, whooping and a riding, and getting it done for you, 27-87. Wow, a close race we have for you here. The number three called for Steve Robert, Robert Deluge, and John May. The first one out of there, mighty nice, the Charlet. The Cowboy getting it done there, of course. Look at this, all three out. We're on the way to the pen at 18 seconds and counting. The sweep around the corner, the Cowboy in the hole. He's got the big job of holding them. Look at this, we got it done. 27-01 turned in. 2701, your new leader in the shootout competition here this afternoon. Each and every team that rides in, certainly capable of changing the leaderboard. Here in the shootout competition, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to share with you the Calcutta Hill last evening. And here in the shootout, the total prize package in the Calcutta over $11,000. Your first place team is going to pay you $6,000. Oh, a close call. They got it done. 32-82. 32-82 turned in for Mark Hill, Matt Hill, and LJ Pancox. Dave Frazier, Jody Fisher, Roger Bra. Moving in. Fifth team to go. Ten ride on each set of cattle. Two, two, two. We listen in to our arena announcers. The number two drawn by this team, Dave Frazier, Jody Fisher, and Roger Bra. They've got something good happening here. Two of them out in about 15 seconds. And here comes the third one. You know, we talk about our nationally ranked teams and we talk about our top riders, but here in the shootout, anything can happen. Here's a team, I'm telling you what, goes in, gets it done. How about 29.97? Larry Pantos, Jody Hill, Jared Lesh. Now this is that other cowboy, Jared Lesh, the third of the trio. Jared, as a matter of fact, ranked number one in the world in the national ranking system, certified team pending competition. Back there a moment ago, we talked about Mark Hill, Jamin Lesh, Joel Lesh. The Lesh boys all ranked right in there as well in the top 10. Mark Hill, 11th. Jared Lesh, our number one rider in the world, brings the cow out right there. They've drawn four, and he gets him out in a hurry. Jody Hill moving in, working the cattle. He's ranked number two in the world. Larry Pancox moving in. You want to talk about a tough team right here, Larry Pancox rate number three in the world. So here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the number one, two, and three ranked team in the world, according to the national rankings system. And that is the style that took them there. You see right there, as they ride in, slam dunk them at 35-37. Riding in, Larry Pancos, ranked third in the world, out of Colorado. Jody Hill, second in the world, also out of Colorado. David Hill, fifth in the world out of Oklahoma. Folks, here is the team to watch. There's a 26-68. David was on that team, David Hall, in the lead. An opportunity to actually move himself out of first place along with Larry and Jody. I want to tell you something. When the money is on the line, the big money at the window, Here's three guys that you never want to bet against. They'll ride hard as you're watching right now. Larry's going to have to take this one all the way around. You couldn't ask for that to work any better, ladies and gentlemen. 3150. What a great job. You bet. Getting it done. Larry, Jody, and David. 20 of the best teams in the business come together for our first go around in our shootout today. Jared Lesh, Donnie Wynn, and David Hall sweep the first go around with a 2668. Wow. We'll catch our breath. We'll change the cattle and we'll be back for round two of the Big Daddy Team Penning here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. 
Welcome back, folks. To Cheyenne, Wyoming, to the Big Daddy Team Penny. Back here in Cheyenne, Wyoming, for the final set of cattle here, the final 10 teams to go, and Greg Nash, Nancy Purse, and Gary Fletcher, a 44-36 in round one. Combined time of 62.96, our fastest time on six head. Twenty-six sixty-eight. Jared, Donnie, and David, our fourteenth team. A team coming up here in a moment. Four teams down. Twenty-six sixty-eight. The well, fastest got, time. She's got a cow cut out for On one run. Sixty-two ninety-six. The combined time in the lead. A pair of zeros down here, and another one on the way. Whoa, I oh, they see this one. They got, got a trash pan. They'll get him out of the way, and we'll pin him right here. On the thirty-second warning. Greg, Nancy, and Gary at the gate. 35 48, Scott. A good clean run. That's what they need to be with solid. Dennis Everhart, Keith Everhart, Creed Hoover. 43 19, their time in the first go round. For them to move into the lead in the average to beat the 61 45, they're going to have to be under 20 seconds. Well, they'll be riding for it, I guarantee you. They get a draw. Six. Six. Oh, that's a draw now. Six on the top, one on the left side. Another red cow, two out quick. Two out real quick. They spot this third cow, they're going to be in business. And he got it. He's on it. Well, the first two are out in nine seconds. But time and time again here in Cheyenne throughout the past week, we've seen those first two come out in a hurry, and that third one, valuable ticks of oh, the clock going by. Just there like he is. His partner helped him out a little bit there. He didn't you see bet. him. Moving in, getting it done. We're at the 30 second mark, however. And that's a run that would work in anybody's pending in most places. But here in Cheyenne, wow, 35-77. I don't believe that's going to be enough to get them there, but they sure made a good run at it. The fours are called, and I don't see one anywhere. I got but David, black one here on his left side. Here's three guys that can pin them. Jody's trying to put two together here. That's what Jody's Fast trying to do. Fast as anybody going down the road. Larry's got the third one spotted, but he's back there buried deep, and look at how they're going to have to roll him all the way, and then when his turn comes up, we're going to have to pop him out. Now, here is now, a big-time split. Look at that. that. Look at that. that. I'm going to tell you something. That takes some incredible cow leading skills. You're in a dead run trying to control your horse, and you got to step in between two cows running at the And you do all of that in the time of 38.20. So 50% fallout rate here in our second go-round. Number three dialed, and look at this. We've got one. Uh-oh. He was there. He was right on the front, but he didn't take the bait. The cowboy went in there and hit him early, but he went back against the rail and buried himself in the herd. Looks like he wants to do it again, but this good cowboy here moving in, getting him done. Now then, we've got the third one spotted. We've got to get this two and this zero out of the way, and we're on the way to the pen. Look at this. Riding hard. Look at him. That cowgirl out there about two jumps ahead of that horse, whipping in a riding all the way, and we've got it happening now. How about 33.95? How about 67.19 combined time for Dave Frazier, Jody Fisher, and Bob Dunn? Well, this team right here got the number one rider, number five rider, number 17 rider. They're going to be riding hard. I expect Jared will probably be going in for the second cut. He'll be in there pretty quick. He's kind of what we call soft. They draw these eights in a good draw. Well, they're veteran enough to oh, take care of that 2668. The Jared's going to ride up and knock that trash off of him. Go right behind and pick up his black cow. Look at this. Oh, Dave, you're going to have to ride. Hey, you got it done. You got it done. Now they're going to try to put them together here. David's slipping that third cow out quick. Whoa, oh, did he go get him? Look at this, this team white watch cow. Watch this teamwork. Oh, oh, oh. That run was not supposed to work, was it? No, it was not supposed to work. 
Don't go away. We'll be right back here in Cheyenne with more team painting action. I'm here with Donnie Wynn from Newcastle, Oklahoma. Donnie, you're a longtime team painter. How long have you been doing this work? About 13 years. 13 already. years. And have you always rode that nice yellow horse you have? No, I, I wore out a couple of horses before I got to him, but then, uh, you know, I happened on to him by luck, and he's been good to me for the last seven, eight years. He's been wonderful to you. How much estimated money do you think you've won off that horse? Well, uh, if you don't count what my expenses was, well, it was somewhere around 400000 400000 which makes him a pretty penny. Now, I understand you are an NRS member. Yes. Do you know where you're ranked? 17th. 17th. And do you spend a lot of time on the road team pennant? Uh, probably more than I should. More than you should. How we, much time do you think you spend? Well, we go practically, you know, every week. Sometimes we'll miss a week or two, but otherwise we're year-round we do that. And you pretty much try to pen with the same people all the time, is that correct? Yes, I'm in a box of five people and, and we pretty well stay together, you know. Yeah, and that probably makes it a little easier to split expenses, traveling right. expenses and all you that. Do. You do. And how is team pinning going for you today? Well, I've had one ride. It didn't turn out too good. Next team, got team three to go. Three to go. Yeah. So do you have anything to say about the cattle or the arena? Everything is real nice. Everything is yeah. Arena's good, cattle's good. It's our fault if we don't make it work. Second go round of our shootout. The first annual Big Daddy Summer Spectacular held here with Cheyenne Frontier Days, of course. Greg Nash, Mark Scroggs, and Gary Fletcher. They were 26.94 in the first go round. Here, they've drawn number six. Looking for the opportunity to advance to the finals, the top 10 of this shootout. We'll take them over to the Cheyenne Frontier Days Rodeo. Coming up Sunday morning at 10 a.m. on the grounds right before the rodeo. What an honor, what an opportunity, what an incentive for our teams to come to Cheyenne, Wyoming, participate in Cheyenne Frontier Days, and get to ride at the daddy of them all, Cheyenne Rodeo. Every cowboy's dream. I tell you what, here's a team that has made themselves mighty eligible too. 41-90, 41-90 turned in. Dave Fraser, Jody Fisher, Roger Brock. And the number called, zero for the team, zeros. Got one spotted early. We're in good shape there. Let's find the other two. Wheel them down here. Now you saw this cowgirl just a moment ago from Canada, Jody, moving in. She can ride a horse. I'm talking, she can get out there. Look at her. Constantly, about two jumps out over that horse's neck, and I mean kicking him to him. Look at her put the brakes on and slam dunk them, folks. 32.99. They are in the lead in the average right now with those two runs. Jody Hill wearing numero uno, number one in our national ranking system. Jody Hill ranked three. Actually, or excuse me, Larry's rated three and Jody Hill number two, so there they are, one, two, and three in the world. Actually, any one of them three guys could be number one, any one of them could be two, and any one of them could be three. Well, and when it all changes here, when the final tabulations are made after Cheyenne, obviously some guys are going to be moving up. And some are going to be moving down. We We're not naming any we won't name any like names, number fours like or number anything four, like Scott that. <laughs> This is a good draw. He got well, the, the number outside. three is called. These guys turned in a 31.50 in the first go round. Uh oh, we've got a zero jumping out that on it. That zero's us. done that two or three times. It's going to take some teams out. They are hustling. Jared's got third cow spotted here. This zero, this zero is going to be all right here. Larry's going to be able to take him off just like that. What a beautiful split down in the corner. Now, we're going to have to watch for him to move across this back line. Is he going to do it on his own? Or yeah, they're going he's going to have to rush him. Zone. Just right, getting it done. 33-65. Looks like they're just right in there in our top 10. Scott, we had six teams in round one in the 22nd range. Well, these are the best of the best. These guys have been riding for years and years. Steve Robert out here on the, sitting on this far side has won four or five AQHA World Championships. Two, two, you give him any draw at all, they're going to pin quick. 
they got they got this little red cow spotted here. They, they're gonna come out pretty clean. Steve's already got the second one spotted. You know, if they do another 20 second run or even a very low 30, they have the opportunity to move. Oh, they got a two cow the cut here. They're gonna make it happen. Look at this. They got a two cow cut. The wall, clean it up, and it's Look at happening. That. Just like that right there. Look at this. John Maid has made a great move up there. He stayed still and let that black two come up to him. Well, they move. tried to escape there. 34 44. That's going to put them in the lead. Steve Robert, Robert DeLude, and John May set the pace of the 61-45 leading into our final go around. It's like we're a little tired and need to take a break. Be right back. Well, folks, we promised you some exciting action here in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and we certainly brought it to you here today. Scott, what a kickoff here in the shootout. Sure was. It took a 79-84. I had mentioned that earlier that I felt like it would take something in that in that time range to make the top 10. Sure enough, it did. The leading team come in with a 61-45. Fast, fast action. So we have 10 teams now to move over in the shootout to the finals. Here the other day, of course, we kicked things off. We determined our top 10 teams in the open. We're going to move them all over there for more exciting team pinning action. Mozon the Kibben ranked 29th in the world. Well, Jamin in seventh position in the national ranking system. Joel in ninth, as we told you a moment ago, out of Oklahoma. Mozon McKibben, I kind of got that impression you look up the picture of Cowboy. He is one. Mozon made a real quick cut off top, and, and uh, Joel's already got his cow cut out, so they, they're going to be quick. They're going for it. They realized that first run wasn't as quick as they wanted it to be, so they got three cows cut. Oh, nice move, Mozon, to keep that cow from going back. Too many cows coming across the line. The 30-second warning in the background, oh, you hear that. A little whoop, this hat in there. We've got them in the corner and we're headed for the pin. We're gonna stop the clock there at 43.26. That's going to give them 105.61, teaming up with Corey Hill and Tommy Hill. The Hills out of Colorado, some of the top working ranch cowboys in the state of Colorado. Carol Berger out of Wyoming, leading up to this, but what a thrill it is to come here and get to pin in Cheyenne. Oh, Carol Berger told me the that two her mother... Cut. Look at this two cow oh, cut. Man. man, they're going to be quick. They already got third cow spot on the top. They got it done. Seconds. Here we go to the pin. Tommy's going to... Time to go ride that six trash off. Now, did Carol. you see Carol roll back to kind of free everything up and get hey, that happen? They're still going to be fast. Absolutely. I want to get back with oh. you on that. Oh, man, let's go get that one. Hold on to him. He's got an open alley to bring him back down. Fortunately, the cattle on the other side of the pen. Had those cattle been over here and he got buried up no, there. Nice move. 37 75. That's a sure nice move by Carol. Carol Berger told us yesterday, Scott, that her mother used to ride horseback as a little bitty girl to this arena and watch the rodeo from the top of her horse. Must be a thrill for her to come now. Certainly, you can imagine. Actually be competing in the event itself. Our next team riding in, Greg Nash. He's ranked 48th in the national ranking system. Teams up with a top cowgirl out of the great state of Texas, Nancy Purse and Mark Scroggs. Now we've seen some good runs by this team this week, Scott. Yeah, they've been consistent all weekend long. Made a real nice first cut there. The cow was kind of deep. And they got one over here on the end if they happen to notice him. I think Mark just spotted him. If he gets a shot at him, he's going to take it. He's got him. We talked about Nancy, of course, making a name for herself in the team pending competition. <laughs> Former rodeo cowgirl in the Women's Professional Rodeo Association. And getting it done. 3506 turned in. Folks, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Welcome back to Cheyenne for more team pinning action. Let's see what happens here. Jody Hill looks like he's going to go in first. Jody Hill, the number two ranked cowboy in the national ranking system. Larry Pancost right behind him in third place. Donnie Wynn. He made him a nice seven. cut. Teeth nice cut right out of the middle. Look here. Larry's already on the second. Going to bring another one out the middle. 
Larry Pancost riding in there, and Jody Hill out of Colorado. Donnie Wynn, top cowboy out of Oklahoma. And they've got them cut out of there. Let's go pin them. Head this way, guys. Listen to the communication of these guys out there. Jody is making a second cut, telling Larry that his cow come back. These cattle are tough. They're kind of herd-bound to keep wanting to come back. Communication is a real important part of it. We're in good shape a lot of time, and we'll see how it goes. They're coming in here, 4186. That's looking pretty good. Sue Flynn, Lee Myers, and Frank Young, 6577. You know, I have to think about it as the number one is called. Here's a team that you may not recognize the names on the national circuit of team pinning. We're not able to call their rankings way up high in the national oh, nice move, Sue. So just like a lot of sports, here's a team that really shouldn't have a lot of pressure on them. They should be able to come right in and, they, and do just exactly what they're doing That's right. Now. They're going to be free they, up and pin the cattle. They've got the ones drawn, and they're heading to the pen with an opportunity to take the lead. This is going to be tough to beat. 3258 be turned in, in, ladies and gentlemen. Sue Flynn is out of Montana. Lee Myers out of the state of Washington. Frank Young out of Utah. Scott, we had folks from virtually every state in the union here in Cheyenne this week. Dick Gerard, I've had the privilege of meeting here for the first time. He's a cowboy. Yeah, has a big farm, a ranch right out, right out here in Medicine Bow, Wyoming. Ranked sixth in the world. He teams up with Byron Underwood, Grady Underwood. Grady ranked 16th in the world. Remember I said something about them fives a little earlier? You. And I, <laughs> I told you the fives were the draw. Now You nailed it. Byron kind of stepped out in front of that cow just a little bit, but they're still okay. They're gonna hold them to the wall here and bring them out quick. And they're gone to the pen. That's just the way you want to do it, just like that. 2780 coming in right there and wrapping it up in style. After all the dust has settled, the father and son team of Byron and Grady Underwood combined with Dick Gerard take away a $12,342 check here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Don't go away, we'll be right back here in Cheyenne with more team pinning action. Welcome back to Cheyenne for more exciting team pinning action. Teams from Utah, Florida, New York, Arkansas, Mississippi, from Texas, New Mexico, all the way to Canada and virtually every state in between here in Cheyenne this weekend. The number five called 67-19 they were to come into the finals. First one out in 10 seconds. Well, two of them are out of there and we're looking for the third one. We've seen this all weekend long. Two of them come out. Third one give us some trouble, but he's in there. And you know, only 30 seconds have expired. Unbelievable, it feels like it takes forever and we're only halfway there. We've got it done, 36, 82. These guys are conscious about these horses. They want to take good care of them because they know they got to make lots of runs on them. And he's got him a duck standing out here on his left side, but he ain't spotted him yet, but Mark has. His partner did and went and rolled him out of there. But boy, these cattle are making the cowboys and their good horses work for it. Well, we got a pair of eights out of here. Let's hope. Yeah, we he's can already find on the third cow. Three and get him down here. Now, here you go. Look at this. Your leader with a 9773, Greg Nash, Mark Scroggs, and Gary Fletcher. If you want a turn back man, you want a man in the hole, Donnie Wynn's the man to have on your team. We're looking for threes, Scott. Yeah, Dave's already got him one spot, and Jared's already got the next spot. Watch him get back in the wake of this guy. He's gonna pick them both up. He's gonna, oh, he split him. But Donnie Wynn's got him spotted, though. Good job, Jared, there to bring the extra one out. And Donnie Wynn is on that three, but that three is rolling him. He's gonna take him. If he'll turn up the wall, he's in good shape here, but he doesn't do it. Oh, man. Well, this might just took him out of the deal. Well, they definitely had it going. Yeah, well, but that three has rolled and circled under the yellow horse's neck. 
And we've got Watch that move. Watch Look that at move. this. Oh, oh, it almost worked, didn't it? Well, they were going for you. Well, anyway. they did some hard riding for you right there, and it's just not going to work here today for the Cowboys from Oklahoma. Jared Lesh, David Hall, and Donnie Wynn. Jody Fisher riding a five-year-old horse he ain't been pinning on very long, and I think this horse has an incredible future in our sport. He is nice to watch, and she, if they get out of there and head for this pin, I want you to watch her. She'll be about two jumps out ahead of that horse and spurring her doing. Look at how quiet that horse moves through the herd. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at here. Look at this. It's coming Look together at now. This. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Look at that, Dave Frazier. Nice move, Dave You Frazier. turn around and go the other way, too. We don't want you back here. He just made a fantastic move. Just like that right there. They just won him a shootout. That team's walking out pretty proud, don't they? How about a 93-02 to move into the lead? A couple Canadians team up together, Dave Frazier and Jody Fisher, combined with the Washington rider, Roger Bra, to take home a $29,160 check. Second place check, $19,440, went to the team of Greg Nash, Mark Scruggs, and Gary Fletcher. So the victory lap underway, 9302, the from Canada, Dave Frazier, Jody Fisher, and Roger Bra. 9302 turned in. There were some happy folks right there, Scott. They just put $30,000 in the pocket. Most folks work a whole year for $30,000. Well, the award presentation taking place down at the pen. A check for $29,160 for the fastest average in the shootout. What a great feeling and what a great opportunity to be here. Cheyenne Frontier Day. The folks here in Cheyenne, Scott, giving us this opportunity to come in. And everywhere we've gone, the, the folks here in Cheyenne have been wonderful hosts to us. And I, I feel like the team pinning competition has been graciously accepted here in Frontier Day. Without a doubt, the sponsors have been magnificent. The facilities are great. We hope that this race brings more awareness to our sport. Let folks know that this is a serious event. Let folks out there realize this is a fun spectator sport that people can enjoy watching. And we sure appreciate Cheyenne Frontier Day. $29,160 is what this team right here just won. Now the teams before us were having tough luck. The cows were tough and stuff, and, and uh, it was wide open when we went in, and we just needed to come out clean and be, and be a team out there, not three individuals, and we worked awful well together. Oh, it was exciting, but all we were doing is just hoping we stay in first place. <laughs> just hoping you stay in first. Where are you headed next? Uh, Have you decided? Winnemucca, Nevada. Winnemucca, Nevada. To the beer stand. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, Thank job you. well done, Thank and you. good luck on your... It was a great production. Great Excellent. show, great show. Great show. Good job. Well, thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Thanks.